Hello my friends and welcome to my creative YouTube channel The Pianits. Um, if it's your first time here and if you are a new subscriber thank you so much and a very warm welcome. And of course if you are a returning viewer welcome back and I'm very happy to see you here. My name is Mariam. I live in Belgium. My English is not my native language, but I continue learning and practicing to improve, of course. And um, yeah, a few days ago I remembered a quote by the American composer Philip Glass, and I will read it to you. It's very short, you know. You practice and you get better. It's very simple. That was what he said. And so that is what I'm doing with my English, of course. So, um, yeah, you will always find the details of what I am talking about in this video in the description box below the video. And uh, yeah, I guess you are used now that I am adding timestamps so that you can easily navigate through the video and select the sections of the video that uh, you like the most or you are interested uh, in. And also, should you wish to follow me on other social media, you can find me on Instagram as The Pianits. And you can follow me on my Kofi account or Kofi page, <coughs> sorry, also as The Pianits. In my videos, I like to tell you all about um, sewing my own garments. At the moment, I'm sewing a lot of garments for myself to prepare for summer. Sometimes it's about crochet. But most of all, it is about knitting, because I'm passionate about knitting. So, for today, um, yes, you will have noticed that I'm wearing my red ranunculus sweater that I finished, um, yeah, uh, one month ago, I think. But I had to block it before I wanted to wear it. So this is it. And I like it a lot. It's very warm. It's knitted with Holst Coast and Holst um, Alpaca knitted together. Whew, so it's uh, wool and a little bit of cotton. It's uh, It feels really, really warm. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I think I will prefer the wider neckline because this one is the the option for a smaller neckline and yeah for me it's it's a bit too cl too closed <laughs> i cannot explain it better but it's perfect it's, it's a very light garment and i really enjoyed uh, knitting the ranunculus so i have already started and finished knitting my second ranunculus and in my previous episode i already uh, showed you the yarn with uh, which I am using for this second, uh, it will be a summer ranunculus, and it is this one. It is Drops Bell, Drops Bell, color number 13, uh, and it's called Denim. And in my previous episode, number 24, I explain also the the yarn. It is cotton, viscose, and linen. Yeah. So I will show you my finished uh, summer ranunculus in this yarn. It's not blocked yet. I will do that, and I will show you next episode how it looks when it is blocked. But this is how it looks now. So it is knitted, of course, with this cotton. Uh, cotton viscose linen yarn and it is heavier than this one. 
I have, uh, I don't know exactly, but I ordered 11 balls of 50 grams and I have knitted with, um, I think, 8, eight balls of 50 grams. So it is heavier than the whole yarn, but I like it a lot. As you can see, I will move it a little bit so you can see. I think it will have a, a lovely drape when I wear it. What I also did at the bottom of the body, I wanted to have a split in the side seam. Well, yes, it is of course not a seam because it's completely knitted in the round. But I divided the stitches to continue back and forth to knit the twisted rib in the front and I did the same for the back but I made it a little bit longer so that's my f yeah and as I told you in episode number 24 I decided to make short sleeves and uh, finish the sleeves with the same kind of stitch as in the hem of the body. So this is my summer ranunculus in the color denim knitted with drops bell. And of course I will tell you next time and show you next time how the sweater looks when it is completely finished, when it is blocked. Yeah, and maybe you will not be surprised. I, I already started knitting a third ranunculus. Oh yeah, and this is knitted. Yeah, I am knitting with this color. So as you can see, it's not red. It is called cherry, Ch cherry, like the fruit. And this is color number twelve of the same yarn, Drops Bell. And I will show you how far I am with this one. One minute. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, with the denim one, I cast on for the wider neckline, and I think it will be much better for me. So I did the same for the cherry colored ranunculus. One minute, I want to take it in my hands so that I can show it to you. So this is as where I am now. Uh, well, I mean, I knitted the yoke. This is finished. So the sleeves are now, the stitches for the sleeves are now, now on this uh, plastic cable, waiting to be picked up again and be knitted into a sleeve. And here I am. Uh, I need 26 centimeters because I I want to make the same size as the blue one. So um, I don't know. I, maybe I am 20 centimeters now. <clears throat> yes, and something that I can recommend because in the when you pick up the stitches f for the sleeves. There's always a problem to avoid holes here at the underarm. And yeah, I forgot the name, but I will, I will put it on the screen in text and uh, in the description box. But to know how to avoid these holes, and it is always between the last stitch and the first stitch that you pick up in the underarm, I use the video, I watched the video of Suzanne Bryan and I think the channel is called Knitting with Suzanne Bryan. But I will mention everything in the description box. And normally everything is okay. Um, but this time I, I was thinking yeah, a little bit creatively, I think. And I decided to use these little kind of uh, clips can you see what it is? Yes. To attach the underarm stitch here and the first stitch 
in a way so that it is not that the weight of the body is not uh, making too big a, a hole that is too big here. So I did that. I have done this with the blue one too, and I must say that it, uh, yeah, it works perfectly, perfectly. As you can see, here are the stitches for the under. Oh wow, all my <laughs> knitting needles. So this is the sleeve, this is the short sleeve, and these are the big top stitches of the underarm. So as you can see, it's a little bit that, yeah, this is not perfect, but here it is. I'm happy with how it looks. And I'm sure if I would not have used these little white clips, that the yarn would be would have been stretched too much at these two four points. Yeah. So as you can see, we can all, always find solutions. So this one is on the needles, and I will continue knitting, of course, and I hope to finish it early enough for spring. But I guess so because yeah, today we are. 25, 26, no, 25 February, I think, 25th. So this is it. This is my second uh, summer ranunculus because it is the third one that I knit. So far for the knitting, then what else did I do? Because I had uh, more time than I had uh, normally because uh, my computer didn't work anymore and I could not continue editing my, my video. So I have knitted a lot and I have made two new summer garments too. I will show you. The first one is... <coughs> sorry. Yeah, a little bit of tea. Well, yes, this year it is for me a kind of priority to continue sewing a few summer garments for myself. Because I have not bought a lot of garments in the last years, certainly not for summer. And yeah, I need to replace things and so I thought, I decided to sew for myself first. So I cannot get distracted a lot because summer, yeah, in a few months, I will need the garments. So the first one is um, a Bermuda short, if that is the correct word. And I made it with a cotton stretch fabric blue one with white polka dots print. As you can see it, yeah, a lot. Uh, it, it's very fresh. And <clears throat> I decided to sew on pockets and I made them myself. I drafted them myself. Because of the print of the fabric, with the circles, the little dots, I wanted to have a pocket that has a, um, a little bit of a rounded shape. So this is my pocket to sew on the uh, front legs. So and this is it. I don't know if it's possible to, to show you very well, because with all this printed... Uh, yeah, but here is a pocket and I fully lined it with a light blue, almost a greyish blue um, viscose lining. So this is my first Bermuda shorts. <clears throat> the second one is, uh, yeah, it's difficult for me to know the right, the correct word for this color. It's not brown, it is not red, but it is something in between. 
in Dutch we say steenrood. It's like a, and, and I think in French, brick. So yeah, I try to show it as good as possible. So this is a color, and this is not cotton, it is, this is a linen stretch fabric. And I did the same pattern, I used the same pattern that I made myself. And uh, yes, in the, the waistband is just simply an elastic. And these pockets, because it is a solid color, I chose to have a rectangular color, not a rounded shape, but a rectangular one. And again, fully lined pocket with the, the same kind of color here. And I forgot to say with the polka dot, I also wanted to have a side split and um, Yes, also I used, I watched a video and I remember that name by Tui Sewing. Sewing. Tui, Tui Sewing. And I will mention it in, in my description box below the video because it's very beautifully explained. There are a lot of uh, sewing tutorials that you can learn a lot from. So as you can see, I will try to show you better. This is the side split and at the inside it looks like this. Of course here you have the overlock yarn, but look at this. I like this way of finishing. So if you want to learn this, this kind of techniques, I would definitely recommend that channel. Tui sewing, really, and um, yes, and how can I explain this? I, in, in the waistband I, I put an elastic, but in my experience elastics uh, can sometimes um, turn around in, in, the, in this uh, waistband. So what I do is I attach it by sewing it uh, vertically on eight different points in the waistband. So there's no opportunity anymore for the elastic to turn around and twist in, in this elastic, in this waistband tunnel. So that's my second Bermuda shorts in this color. Well, yeah, you know, my fabrics are just, I look around most of the time in online shops. And of course, I already have a little bit of experience because it's not so easy. The best way, of course, is to feel your fabrics. That's always, yeah, the, the best way. But if you have a little bit experience, you can make a good choice on, in online shops. So that's what I do. I just do some research and when I find something that I like for the garment that I want, that I need to make, then I order it and uh, yeah. So there's not always a huge uh, amount of uh, different colors to choose from. And I was a little bit yeah, not scared, that's not the right word, but it maybe this is not really a summer color. Polka dot blue, white, and yeah, it's very fresh. So yeah, but I like it. And you will see what I'm going to do, because of course I have not enough with just uh, Bermuda shorts. I need uh, a blouse or a top. So. That is the next uh, garment that I will start and I will make it with this fabric. This is a viscose fabric, it's 100% viscose and very, yes, it's rather thin and a little, you can see through it a little bit, so I will have to line it. This one, uh, this top, I, I will, with this fabric, I will make it a summer top, sleeveless summer top. And <clears throat> it's, uh, 
it's my plan that uh, I, I think it will go very well with this color of Bermuda shorts. What do you think? Because the color is the same as in these leaves. Can you see it? So yes, I have a lot to do. I still have a lot to do to be ready for summer because all the clothes that I have in my wardrobe yeah, they are a little bit worn uh, and sometimes they don't fit perfectly anymore. So that was my decision for 2023, just start, especially for summer. I think for autumn and winter, I, yeah, I have enough, but the spring and summer, yeah. So that is what I am doing at this moment. Oh yeah, and I forgot to show you because I have made two short video clips where I show you um, the outfit that I wear or that I can wear with this red radunculus. So the first one is where I wear it with a skirt that I made a few years ago, a dark blue with the red and white uh, stripes. And the second one is where I wear it with a yeah, red pair of trousers and maybe this is a little bit of uh, too big a statement. I don't know if I uh, will wear that uh, outside my house. You never know. What do you think? But the color, the, the, the color red is perfectly together because it is not because it is the same color red that, that it is the same kind of tone. So yes, what can I tell you more? I told you about my ranunculus, I told you about my sewing project, the Bermudas. Yes, I showed you the outfits with my red ranunculus. Yeah, and I must admit that I would so much like to knit, to continue knitting uh, another little cotton rabbit's dog, but because I'm still busy with uh, garments for summer, I, I try to be disciplined and I wait a little bit. But I would like to show you a little gift that has been sent to me by my good friend Helen from YouTube channel Mousy Makes, and I will show it to you. So that is one. And two. Oh. So these are made by Helen and sent to me by mail, by post, post or mail, how do you say it in English, as a little Christmas gift. <laughs> They're so cute. And yeah, they are small also. Look at my hand. Yeah. So yeah, it takes a lot of patience and uh, discipline to make uh, tiny little toys. I have never Oh yeah, I, I made just one for my grandson. I think that was crochet. I, I'm not sure yet. I, I'm not sure anymore. But yes, I love these two bunnies. I think it's bunnies. Very much. So I think this is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed being here with me. And watching this video. At the end of the video I, I will show you some, I, I will uh, add some footage of how I made one of the Bermuda shorts. So you will see that at the end of the video. So for now I wish you a lot of inspiration and of course time to create and uh, yeah I hope to see you soon again. Uh, in my next video 
and um, yeah, stay creative and be inspired. Inspiring, that is very important, I think. And if you would like to leave a comment, yeah, it's always nice to get to know you a little bit better. And if you are still knitting a ranunculus or a second ranunculus or a third one or a fourth one and so on, yeah, please tell me how you are doing. It's really so lovely to knit this pattern. Yeah, I knew the pattern already. I knew it existed already for a long time. But now that I have started myself to knit one, yeah, <laughs> I really love it. So, thank you for being here and see you soon. Bye.